All right. Welcome, everyone. Let's find a comfortable seated position. So whatever that means for you, I like to sit on a blanket or a block that allows our hips to open a little bit more. Now, while we're here, we always have a natural way that we sit with one foot in front of the other. Perhaps we switch that. Why? And it's gonna open up our hips in a new way. It's also gonna challenge our core to sit up a little bit taller. But let's take a moment to let go of wherever you were before class, before you rolled out your mat. So head over heart, over hips, resting the eyes. We can drop the chin slightly if you'd like, hands on the knees or palms up, or hands stacked in the center, palms up one over each other. Taking a moment to connect to our breath and to let go. Becoming present in the moment, we're inhaling through our nose, exhaling through the nose or the mouth. We soften the space between the eyes. We let our jaw relax fully. Our shoulders hang down just a little bit more. With each breath, it becomes a little bit longer drawing more oxygen through the body, more energy is being released. Taking a few more breaths, just trying to let go and become present in this moment. Noticing any areas you might need to soften or relax. Any areas that feel a little tight or you're holding tension, where can we relax fully? Just taking that moment for yourself. We'll let a smile come over our face to carry through our practice today. We'll inhale and lift those arms up overhead, nice and tall. Exhaling, hands to the heart center, dropping the chin towards the chest. You might take a moment to just appreciate the fact that you turned on your computer today, you've rolled out your mat and you're here, or you wanna dedicate your practice. Let's inhale, reach the palms up overhead. Exhale, open the arms up and let them float down the sides. Starting with some gentle twists, we'll take the right hand to the left knee or thigh. Keep the left fingers pointing to the side direction. Nice gentle twist. We'll lift and lengthen through our spine on an inhale, exhaling, twisting and turning. Remembering it's about 70% with each movement. Never pressing too far, just gently starting to open our bodies and trying to relax into each pose. Where can we let go a little bit more? One more breath here. Maybe you choose to exhale and press a little bit more before coming back to center. And we'll move into the other side. So that means left hand to the right knee or thigh. Right fingertips point to the side direction, remembering to lift and lengthen on an inhale, exhale into the twist and looking over the shoulder if you'd like. Taking that moment to connect into the breath with each pose, trying to let go just a little bit more. Two more breaths. And again, on that last breath, if you'd like, exhaling, pressing a little bit further into the twist and then inhale and ease off. Let's roll those shoulders back. Yeah, so bring your hands to the side. Let's inhale up to the ears. Exhale, down and back. We'll make small circles. Inhale up, exhale back. 
A couple more rounds, lifting and then down. One more. All right, let's ground that left palm. Take the right arm overhead, bending into our elbow, finding length from the fingertips all the way down the side body. We can keep our head in a neutral position. We could look up towards the sky or have a nice relaxed neck looking down towards the floor. No matter the variation you choose, we wanna find that length through the side body, nice gentle stretch. One more breath here, really reach, reach, reach. And then inhale, come up, lift that left arm up, exhale through into the other side. So again, bending into the right arm, neutral, looking up with a little bit of a twist or nice relaxed neck looking down towards the ground. Whatever variation you choose, take a moment, length from your fingers down the ribs all the way to the hips. One more breath here. Inhale, come up, right arm meets the left. And then let both arms float down. Very nice. Let's uncurl our legs. Maybe we take a moment, we lean to the side, we move the blanket. Let's stretch our legs out nice and long. Shake them out. Oh, maybe you wanna massage them for a second, okay? Sitting for a few minutes, you know, we feel a little rough. All right, let's start with a gentle hip opener. So let's bring our feet together, focusing in on those hips. All right. Just taking a moment here. I just want you to soften through the hips. Couple of options. If we have a lot of flexibility, you can take the thumbs to the balls of the feet and use the palms to peel them open. But we're just starting our practice. So maybe you decide to kind of slouch into this pose for a moment and then exhale and lift up. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press into the legs and lift up. So just taking a moment, opening, softening those hips a little bit. Maybe you wanna bounce them. Maybe we have that flexibility. We peel them open and we press and we press. Just take a second, let your hips soften a little bit and then release. I'm gonna turn to the side now so we can lengthen out our legs nice and long. Centered on our mat, take a moment. Take your palms underneath your thigh so that we can move all of that muscle and find our sit bones. So we have a nice solid base to lift out of. Hips, knees and ankles are in alignment. Curl back those toes, lift through the crown of the head. You can place the palms on the sides of the hips. If the arms are straight, we wanna remember that we're not scrunching through the shoulders here. So everyone's arms are different length. This is a cue to lift out of your core. If the legs are tight, I encourage you to take a blanket. Bring it underneath the knees here, okay? This will allow you to sit up a little bit taller. All right, we can find length through our lower back. We can sit up, engaging the core that little bit more. Use the props to your advantage. All right, let's take an inhale and lift our arms up overhead. With or without the blanket, we're gonna fold forward and then relax our head down. With the blanket, we might be able to draw our chest to our thighs. Without it, maybe we just reached for our shins. Nice flat back and then we relax our head down. Remember, we don't want to round here. We want to find that length through our lower back. We're opening our legs and our back at the same time. Take two more breaths here. Remembering length through the crown of your head and then relax it down. So we're opening up our back. And then release the arms. Slowly come up on an inhale, roll those shoulders back. All right, 
Let's do another gentle twist. Draw your right leg up. Knee to the sky. We can have a fist distance between our ankle and our leg. It does not matter how far you pull this leg in, okay? What matters is length through the spine. Curl back your left toes. Now, if you'd like, there's the option to cross it over to the side. But again, I want you to focus on lifting. And again, we can have that blanket or towel underneath our left leg. Lift and then twist. So taking the left hand to the right knee or the elbow to the knee, bring the fingertips of your right hand behind you pointing to the side direction. Lift and then twist. Remembering that left foot is nice and curled back. We're pressing into our right foot, giving us that solid base to lift out of. Take a moment. Feel that abdomen expand into the thighs, right? We're massaging the internal organs. Our breath might change. Can you relax into your shoulders a little bit more? Let them hang down, even though we're twisting open. And then release, come back to center. Take the arms across the other side for just a moment. Turn and twist, and then we'll stretch out that right leg. I like to find center between our twists. So what does that mean? Hips, knees, and ankles in alignment one more time. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Relax the head down. Maybe you want to move side to side, moving your shoulders. Finding that neutral spine. And then we'll lift up on our inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Sit up nice and tall. Left leg comes up. So again, fist distance between so that the hips, knees, and ankles are still in alignment. We want to curl back that right foot for a solid base. There's always the option of crossing it over to the other side. You'll feel this a little bit more in your hip as you turn and twist. Maybe that's what you want today. Maybe we want to work on that twist and keep it on this side. Personal preference. Lift and lengthen. Right hand to the knee. And then left fingertips behind you, pointing to the side direction. Remembering to keep those shoulders down. Exhale into the twist. We can turn and look behind us. We could also have that right elbow tucked in around the knee. Taking a moment. Find that length through the crown of your head. Don't forget about that right foot, curl it back. Pressing down into the left. This is our nice solid base so that the weight is centered from left and right on our hips. Check in on that left shoulder, is it down? We might be pressing into that palm to lift through the crown of our head, but we wanna keep our shoulders down. All right, release and come back to center and take the arms across the other side for a breath. Small counter twist. Back to center, stretch that left leg out. And again, we can tuck that blanket underneath our knees. Lift and lengthen first. So maybe we have to readjust. Both sit bones are on the ground, hips, knees, and ankles. Arms up on the inhale. Exhale and fold forward. Relax the head down. If you reach the feet, I encourage you to grab for the outside, flattening the foot, and then relax the head down. We want to feel an even stretch behind the knee. You might notice that after this third time, you can reach a little bit further. Remembering to find length through the entire spine and then relax the head down. The backs of our legs are connected to our lower back. So you might think that it's just the legs, but it's also our lower back that by opening it will help us fold forward a little bit more, give us a little bit of relief. 
We might feel some pain in daily life. Let's open that up. Let's gain a little bit of strength through our core. Bringing an overall sense of well-being to our body by lengthening our spine. Inhale, coming up. Roll those shoulders back. Let's find length through the side body one more time. Take that left foot and press it into the side of your right thigh. Curling back your right toes. We can take our forearm to our thigh or we can take the right hand to the left knee. We're gonna reach and extend that left arm overhead, bending into the side. So again, if you'd like, taking the hand to the knee. Both are great options. Curl back those right toes. Don't forget about them. We're finding that length while opening up our legs in a different way. We can turn and twist again, or we can just have a neutral head looking down. Gentle stretch through the side body. Taking a moment, if the hands to the knee, you can actually think about flowering open the shoulder. Feel that stretch around the back as well. Beautiful, leaning into it on an exhale. Inhale, come up and again, counter. So rounding the left pump, right arm reaches back. And then we'll release. Very nice. Let's move right into the other side on this one. So extend that left leg out. Right foot comes and presses in, curling back those left toes. Again, pressing the forearm into the thigh. Think lift and lengthen. Right arm extends overhead, palm facing down. Open up the side. Or if you'd like, left hand to the right knee, reaching a little bit further. Twist and open if you'd like, finding length down the side body. Taking a couple of breaths. Again, we can always look down, allowing our neck to relax fully or twist open to the sky. Check in with that left foot. Is it curled back? Are you pressing the right foot into the thigh, both allowing you a solid base to lift out of? Reach a little bit more on the exhale, inhale, coming up, countering, ground the right palm, left arm reaches over. Very nice, let's come back to center. Let's insert one final forward fold. Right leg comes out to meet it, move the thigh. Very important here, gives us a solid base. Hips, knees, and ankles, toes curled back, blanket underneath or a foam roller if you'd like. Inhale, arms reach towards the sky. Exhale, we find length from our lower back, standing out, relax the head down. Again, that might just be towards your shins and then we relax the head, always thinking about length through the spine and then relaxing down nice and long. Two more breaths here. And then inhale, coming up. Roll those shoulders back. One more hip opener with those feet together so we can feel the difference. This is a great opportunity to take that blanket and come sit on it again if you'd like. Base of your feet come together. Lifting through the crown of your head. Nice straight spine here. We can stay here and hold, or if you'd like, lean forward slightly. Remembering we're not going to lean and hunch. Lift and lengthen and then gently fold forward. Taking a few breaths. Maybe you notice how things have changed in your hips. Even by doing some forward folds, we open up our hips in a new way. Taking a couple of more breaths here. Maybe you ease off and then lean in a little bit more. Just taking one more deep breath. Inhale, coming up. 
Draw those knees together. And guess what time it is? Let's lay on our backs. Let's take a break. Let's scoop forward. Slowly come down. Nice and long. All right. Focusing in on trying to get our lower back flat on the mat. You can have your hips, knees, and ankles in alignment. Always a great choice. Lifting the hips, let that lower back come flat. We could also take our feet out to the edges of the mat and then the knees hanging towards the center touching. Whatever achieves a more relaxed feeling for you, I invite you to choose that. We can place our hands on our belly, allowing us to connect with the breath with that rise and fall of the abdomen. We could take our palms out wide and palms up to the sky to take a few breaths. Or if you wanna to start to open the shoulders, take the arms overhead, elbows bent, palms up, stack one on top of each other, similar to what we just did with the legs and try to let your shoulders hang closer to the mat. So take a moment and try to relax every inch of your body. We check in with that space between the eyes, the jaw, the neck and the shoulders. We feel our feet firmly connected to the ground. The arms feel heavy into the earth and we just let go. Take one more breath. Maybe you let another smile come across your face. And then we'll reach those arms overhead, waking up the body just a little bit. And then draw them down the body until they come fingertips close to the heel. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, we're going to press into the palms and shoulders, resetting our position with our feet so the hips, knees, and ankles are in alignment. Doing just a little bit of core work today, we'll extend that right leg out nice and long till the heel barely hovers over the earth. And then lift the leg up till the heel is towards the sky. Essentially, this is half of a scissor, so hovering down over the ground and then lifting back up. Trying to keep that pressure even between your hips and lower back. Really using the lower abs. Remembering the slower we move, the more we get out of this movement. Nice and slow, lowering and then lifting that leg up towards the sky. We can press into the ground with our palms or place the hands on the abdomen as a cue to feel those muscles engaged. Personal preference, we're gonna do two more nice, slow, controlled movements up and down. Last one, we'll let that foot come all the way down to the ground, pointing the toes, reach the arms overhead, Extend that left leg out to meet it. Lengthen the abs that little bit and then relax the upper body. Lift both knees. Maybe lift the hips. Realigning our position, nice straight spine. One thing we should consider is our neck. So we're lifting our chin slightly towards the sky, protecting our neck. And again, the two options, hands are down the side of your body. So they almost touch the heel, squeezing the shoulder blades together, pressing the palms and shoulders into the mat, or hands on the abdomen, arms are a little bit more relaxed, drawing our attention to our abs as we extend our left leg out. Heel hovers over the ground. Remember to press into the right foot, 
Level hips, lift that heel up towards the sky. Slowly lower down, letting it hover barely over the ground and then lift back up. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Again, it's that half a scissor, remembering to keep the hips, knees, and ankles in alignment, really using our lower abs. Even pressure, left and right side of the lower back and hips. Do two more. Remembering to move nice and slow. You might even feel a shake. That's a good thing. We're engaging new muscles. All right, last one. Lower all the way down till that heel hits the ground. Pointing the toes, reach the right leg out to meet it. Extend the arms overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Fingers to toes. Relaxing the abs, stretching them out after all that work that they did. And then relax the upper body. Lift one knee up and then the other. And then hug the knees in nice and tight. Wrapping the arms around the legs. And we can rock from side to side, hold or make small circles. Massaging the lower back. Taking a moment. Releasing the abs. And then we'll let the feet hit the floor. Hips, knees, and ankles in alignment one more time. We're going to insert two small bridges here. So lifting that chin up towards the sky. Arms come down the side of the body. We press the palms and shoulders into the mat, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Taking a deep breath. And then we're going to heel the hips, the lower back, and middle back up off the ground. Nice, gentle bridge here. We're going to take a few deep breaths here. Really feel those feet connected to the ground, pressing the palms and shoulders into the mat. Maybe you're thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades together as we lift the chin towards the sky. One more deep breath. And then on the next exhale, we'll lower down middle. Lower back and then the hips hit the floor. Lift one knee and then the other, hugging them in nice and tight. Same options as before, hold, rock, or circle. And then feet hit the floor. Arms come down the side body, pressing into the palms and shoulders. You can squeeze those shoulder blades together one more time if you'd like. Really press into the feet, hips, lower back, and then middle back come up off the mat. If you'd like, you can choose a different variation by lacing the fingers behind the back, allowing you to squeeze those shoulder blades together just a little bit more. Remember to Keep that chin lifted towards the sky, pressing evenly into both feet. If the fingers are laced, we'll unlace them, relax the arms, and then upper, middle, and lower back hit the mat. Again, we'll lift one knee and then the other, hugging them into the chest nice and tight. Rocking or circling for one or two more breaths. and then let the feet hit the floor. Moving into the hips again, let's realign our position. Nice straight spine, extend that right leg out and then up to the sky, taking the ankle across to the left knee, figure fours. Pressing that right knee towards the bottom of your mat. We can stay here in this position. Nice. Even pressure between our hips, left foot pressing into the ground. We could lift the head, neck, and shoulders off the ground 
and draw the hands behind the left knee, making that shin parallel to the ground or curling back those toes, drawing the heel up towards the sky. The other option we have here is to use a belt or small towel, draw it behind the left knee, and then you can use the strap to help pull your left knee closer to your chest, keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed on the mat. We can also draw that heel towards the sky. This is a nice method if we ever have any tension in our neck or we have any neck issues at all. I really encourage you to take advantage of the, the props and the strap in this position. Let's take two more breaths on this side. Really press that knee, right knee towards the bottom of your mat, even pressure from side to side. And then bending that left leg if it's up, releasing the hands or straps, the foot hits the floor, extend the right foot to the sky, stretch it out nice and long, and then lift the knee up. Realign your position if you feel off at all. Moving into the other side, extend the left leg out, reach it up towards the sky, ankle across to the right knee, pressing that left knee towards the bottom of your mat. Right foot is solid and firm, upper body is nice and relaxed, chin is lifted towards the sky. Same options as before, head, neck, and shoulders off the ground, hands behind the knee, shin level to the earth or heel to sky. Again, we have that option for the strap here. Great option. Strap behind the knee, head, neck, and shoulders relaxed on the ground, shin nice and level or heel to sky. I really like the variation with the strap because I feel like when our head, neck, and shoulders are relaxed, we can focus in a little bit more on our hips. So we feel that opening. Maybe you feel it on the inside of the left hip in the crease, or maybe you feel it around the outside of the left hip. We want to imagine there's even pressure from side to side as we press the left knee towards the bottom of the mat. Taking two more breaths here. And then bending that right leg, releasing the hands or strap, let the foot hit the ground. Extend the left leg up towards the sky, reach it out nice and long. Knee comes up. One more variation with our hips, drawing our feet together and letting our knees hang open to the sides while in this reclined position. We can place our hands on our hips bringing that attention to this opening. If it feels tight, I encourage you to take your feet closer to the bottom of your mat. Allow those knees to soften. We can always take blocks or blankets and bring them underneath our hips on both sides so that we're nice and even. Might allow us to open and soften a little bit more. Take this moment to rest the eyes. Feel the shoulders melt into the mat. If you'd like a little bit more shoulder opener, take the hands overhead and imagine that you're mirroring the position with your legs. So the elbows are bent, arms up and open to the sky. We take a moment to allow our breath to relax starting to let it come back to its natural rhythm. Two or three more breaths in this position. Where can you let go? Is it the space between the eyes or the jaw? Is it the shoulders or the hips? Where can you soften just a little bit more for one final breath? And then we'll release the arms. Take the palms to the outsides of the thighs, helping to press the legs back up into a neutral position. If you'd like, lift one knee and then the other, drawing the knees into the chest. 
rocking and circling if that feels good. We're gonna move into our final twist for the day. So a couple of options with the arms, we can take them out in a T, our feet hit the floor first, arms in a T, or palms up towards the sky in kind of a cactus or field goal position. If we'd like a little bit more space, we're just starting our practice, we can lift our hips to one side. I do the right first, knees come towards the chest and then across to the left side. You're welcome to wrap the legs. We can also tuck a blanket underneath our left knee on this side or in between our knees, allowing a bit more space. Trying to stack our hips, we can keep our head in a neutral position or turn and look to the other side. Taking a few deep breaths here, really try to let go. Try to allow the spine to twist open, finding that space between the vertebrae. And also finding the relaxed feeling. Two more breaths. Slowly move back to center. Realign our position. Maybe you feel called to draw those knees into the chest. Maybe you just move right into the other side. Again, if you'd like, you can lift the hips to one side. This for me is the left and then knees to chest and open to the right. Knees hang over, looking in the opposite direction if that feels good. You're welcome to twist the legs or use a blanket or block to help support the leg. You might notice that your breath changes as we enter into a twist. Just try to let it be smooth, even, and continuous. And with each breath, we try to relax a little bit more, letting go of any tension you might feel. Two more breaths here. Try to let go just a little bit more. And then slowly move back to center. Realigning your position. Let's hug those knees in tight one final time. Again, maybe you feel called to rock or circle from side to side. And then we'll stretch out those legs nice and long, entering into our final resting pose. Knowing this is just as important as all the other poses we practice today. Feet, our hips, distance, or shoulders width apart. Or even a little bit wider, allowing those feet to dangle to the side. Take the arms out wide, palms open to the sky. Chin slightly lifted. Let your breath return to its natural rhythm, resting the eyes, soften the space between them. Let the limbs feel heavy into the earth as we allow the energy to reabsorb into our bodies. We allow ourselves to relax fully.
natural for our minds to wander, we can just bring our focus back to our breath, where we can bring attention to our body and awareness of some part that might need softening. We can also place one hand on our heart or our ribs and one on our belly. Tuning into that rise and fall of the abdomen with each inhale and exhale. We let go of the thoughts as they arise and we enjoy the space between them. There's so much to do in everyday life. I encourage you to take this moment to just enjoy that space of nothingness between thoughts. Maybe it's that moment of pause as you rise and fall with the breath. that brief moment, we try to lengthen We know we've carved this time out for ourselves today. So we enjoy every single second. Do you more breath here? Can you soften a little bit more? And we gently start to awaken our body. We start by wiggling our fingers, our toes. Maybe we roll the wrist and the ankles. We stretch our arms overhead like it's first thing in the morning. And then we lift one knee and the other. Maybe we lift our hips and move them to one side so that we can roll over. We can pause here for a couple of breaths if you'd like. And then we use our top arm to press up into a seated position, moving nice and slow. Coming into a comfortable seated position, drop the chin towards the chest and rest the eyes. Depending on what's next, we might just enjoy this moment. Or we can draw some energy into the body, inhaling, leaning that chest forward, circling as we exhale and round the back. We'll do two this direction and then center off, take a deep breath and then move the other way. Inhaling, chest is forward and lifted. Exhale, round. And then centering off. Lifting through the crown of your head. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, squeeze them down and back. Letting a smile wash over your face. We'll inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Palms come together and then hands down in front of the heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you.